Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the support, everyone, too. Subscribing, it means a lot. The comments, I thrive on them. They're amazing. What are we looking at? Well, you know, purple planet, red planet, blue planet. They have so many colors. Our eyes can only see in the white spectrum. But hang on now. Could some of these objects that I've seen and that many channels are seeing during, wow, the month of October, one never to forget. Look at it. Could these objects be crafts? They are sort of spherical. They're flat, cookie-shaped when you look at them, which oh, I hate saying it, but this is what it looks like. They always look um, cookie-shaped, flat. Uh, most of the celestial spheres that I do find, some of them are swollen out, of course, but then again, some do expand. What would the dangers be to having a dead star on, um, on the loose? Well, that would be, it doesn't mean it is, guys. I'm just telling you, it would be dreadful. It, w it could be uh, the end of any system. Uh, look at the structuring on the right here. This is, it mesmerizes me. I know lava does flow, they say, and et cetera, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe it, you know? Some of these areas are just mind-boggling. They look like cities. But this one, for example, could be a craft. Could you imagine a craft looking like that? All they'd have to do is light up, right? Uh, we got to think out of the box, guys. These are just theories, but I just like bringing it out there once in a while. Check this out. And now I want to talk about the very controversial star, Rigel. It caused a lot of stir up on my channel when I posted this star. Rigel, for me, is the most mesmerizing system in the entire universe. It's the big man's, the giant's left leg in Arab. Rigel. It's not Rigel, it's Rigel. R-Y-E-J-E-L is how it's pronounced, Rigel. Now, the system inside of it, we are going to go as close as any human has probably ever seen inside of the system. My technique, I'm even getting observatory people now coming to insult me to on the channel, which is a plus for me because... Um, I'm prepared for the worst. I'm prepared to see many people take my techniques down in words, but you'll never be able to take it down physically, my friends. And the world is going to know about the truth about these stars, and stars are not stars, my friends. We're looking at a system possibly bigger than our universe in this one hole on the left side of Rigel star. This is Rigel star system untouched with a white spectrum, and this is with x-ray process only added. No manipulation, no detail enhancer, no color, which I never use. Natural color, guys. I use a color camera. That's why I bought a color camera. We're not in the 60s. Colors, guys. Colors. Where everything's in color, okay? Stop thinking everything's in black and white. It's not. And the stars that we are seeing white, it's because we can only see white spectrum light. Everything is going to be white. Clouds, surface structures, planes, stars. Are you noticing the relationship to the white spectrum? There's an explosion of red fire. You'll see a white flash. When you start to faint, you see a white light. When you're descending in a plane and you're starting to lose oxygen, you can see white lights and stars. Everything that we see is in the white spectrum. People are telling me it's hazy, it's cloudy, it's fuzzy. We're looking at structures. There's no haze, no fuzz, no obstruction, and our cone cells inside of our eyes are tingling, trying to grasp what image is in front of the eye. It's just literally trying to give us a picture, and it's not doing such a great job when it comes to stars and seeing the surface structures on the moon. This is why there is need for a new editing process, and it's what I'm doing, being able to show you people the real structures on the surface. But hey, it's going to be controversial. It'll probably go for many years. Not, not many will appreciate it, but the ones that do will profit from it because they will know themselves a part of the truth. I'm not doing anything different than what the entire world has been doing. What we've been doing forever is trying to edit photos to make them look more realistic, right? We're trying to edit photos. Edit is a big word. I shouldn't be using photos edited because they're not edited, they're processed. 
This is done with a color camera. Many of you, even a guy from an observatory coming to tell you, you cannot do this with a telescope. Well, you know what? I didn't do this with a telescope. Many of you are laughing right now. I know it because you've heard me say it every third video. You guys aren't asking me what I'm doing. I am doing astrophotography. You guys know what astrophotography is, right? You grab a, a bridge camera, you point to the sky, you stack photos, and you get nebulae. That's all I'm doing. I'm changing the stacking process, that's all. But I'm still getting the same, if not better, oh, and it is better, outcome. Look at my constellation of Orion. Look at the Great Nebula. I, I don't want to brag, but... I've never seen a nebula so breathtaking. I've cried many times looking at that photo. I caught that photo. I made the effort to bring the great nebula of Orion thousands and thousands of years away, my friends, so that we can see the surface of the nebula. And I found out that there's more to the nebulas than we were told. And this is why I'm here. I've kept my work for free online because I love you all. I love humanity. And it's this is not something that should be charged to people to see the truth. And I'm here for that, to show you all. So please, I'm asking you just to support the channel and to take the time to listen to what I have to say and to see my work. There's no manipulation here. Now, here's the thing. I knew every single one of you, well, many of you, of course, not the ones following me. I love you all. But many people in this world are going to judge me for being a person who posts his work for free. People are asking me, if you were a real scientist, Bruce, which I'm not. If I was a real scientist, I'd be selling my work and my astrophotography. If I was a photographer, I'd be making millions. Well, maybe my goal isn't to make millions. I put a myevents.com out there offering people who can give. We can't all give. I can't. And the ones who can... It helps. I don't ask for it. I just post a link at the end. I hope it's not bothering no one because I'm getting a lot of people that ask me to put it up because they want to help. And I love you for it. It's as simple as that. My work remains free, but it doesn't mean it's not real scientist work because I'm working my ass off. Are you not all understanding yet? The universe, guys, is a time machine. History and the universe is a virtual physical timeline try to wrap your minds around that and i'm trying to put one and one together and i'm coming up with three and we were told it was two but it's three and now i laugh when i see people write one plus one is three and smile because they're damn right we were not told the right equations we were not shown the proper way to calculate to do proper calculations Guys and gals, the universe is a time machine. They say that when we look back at the Big Bang, it can still be observed many, many light years away. Why? I'm trying to grasp the idea of the entire system. How is it holding together? Never mind even where it's from. I'm not even there yet. Trying to understand all these factors and when we look at the wavelengths that we can't see, when we look at all these factors, well, we realize that there are many, many parts of our universe that we'll never be able to see with our own eyes unless we edit them. Make a long story short, my friends. You sit down one day and you really want to think of how the universe is working and where you're from and who's running it all. Just sit down and ask them. He'll answer you. He answered me. I know exactly where I am, where my place is, and what I have to do. The outcome is not so funny. But the fact that it's for humanity that people are trying to expose what's out there, and I'm not trying to put anyone down. This is beautiful. This is creation. And we have to see it to believe it. I'm going to stop that right now. I'm going to jump to the next video because it's just too long. I have a lot more. I thought I, I thought the video was only at five minutes. We're at 10 minutes. 
I'll get another one up, guys. These are the website contributors. Thanks to them. The telescope's on its way, and I feel it. I really, really, really feel it. WSL YouTube channel, Steve Olson and I interact on Tuesdays. We just share and compare. That's what we do. Everything we find in the skies and anything that we can help each other advance in our search for the truth. Check out WSL YouTube channel, Steve Olson, the host. Thanks.